Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'd like to show you how I made my little street lights for my Christmas display. You could also use them for your dioramas or train sets. So just because it's extremely difficult to see on plastic, I've drawn it onto a piece of paper. So what you want to go to is 1.2 centimeters long on each of these going down by one centimeter and these little tabs are half a centimeter so on the alternative one so it's like a zigzag pattern put the tabs on that side and then a tab on the front now I normally get my glue in these plastic boxes so what you're going to do is you're going to take your design and cut it out on this plastic box. Now I like to use a permanent marker by drawing the divide lines with the permanent marker and the top. Not too fussed about those ones because they don't you don't see them. But these ones if you use the permanent marker on these lines it gives you the black corners when you collapse it and glue it all together. So I've transferred my design onto my little piece of plastic and now I'm just going to cut that out. When you're cutting it out you're only going around the tabs on the outside and along like that. Don't cut the centre lines so just around on the outside. So I've cut the whole piece out. Now you might want to just go over the black again with your permanent marker, just the ones on the inside. Don't worry about the top tabs and bottom tabs, just these ones. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold them along each of the black lines here and fold the tab inward. Now with the permanent marker, try and keep the permanent marker on the inside. So what you want to do is fold it in the opposite direction so the permanent marker is actually on the inside, not on the outside. So I've just got a ruler and I'm just placing it on the centre line and then bending it upwards. your little lantern well the glass part of it anyway then what you're going to do is you're going to glue the tab onto the side there like that and you're going to fold these tabs down on the ones at the top as well so that you've got something to glue on when it comes to glue them onto posts make the cappings for the lights what you're going to do is you're going to take your compass at two centimeters and draw a circle and using the same measurement divide the circle up now what you're going to do is get the center point again and then draw make sure you are crossing where it crosses the line here that you're actually joining in the center of each of the points. So then you're going to draw a line from each point across. You need to have five. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this one out. So I've cut that piece out now. You fold along this line. And all the lines around it need to fold them inward. So just taking a piece of paper, try and get them as straight as you can. That's one line. 
and just fold all the others. Once they're folded, and then you can just cross them over and you'll see that'll be the capping. Now we're going to cut it out. Just check to see that everything is fitting nicely, that you've got a nice little cap. So now this is just a paper template. So what you need to do now is transfer your design onto some cardboard or Bristol paper and then cut it out. So now while you've got your template onto your cardboard, take your ruler and fold on the lines because once you take the template off you can't see where your lines are. So there it's all cut out on the cardboard. On the fifth one just trim it down just a little bit so that it's not bulky when you want to glue it. So I'm going to just cut a small section off there and then what you do is you glue it all together. So putting it all together, gluing it and there's the top of the little lamp. I'm just using some hot glue to glue it together so just gluing down this side here. Oh that's a bit much. And then placing it, pressing it together. And now our little piece. We're going to just put a glue of glue on here and glue it together as well. So placing just a small amount of glue on the tops of each of the tabs. Make sure it's straight. This is an optional extra. I like the little balls on the top so I'm just taking a blob of glue and just putting it on the top. I'm going to wait for it to cool down before I mould it. Just to make the little top piece. On your piece of cardboard you want to make 1.5 by 1.5 square and cut that out. So now we've got EVA foam once again 1.5 by 1.5 and then cut that out. When you're cutting the EVA foam instead of having them straight have them at an angle you will get a nice beveled edge like that. So cut the little 1.5 out on a beveled edge. So there's a little piece of EVA foam on a beveled edge and then we're going to glue a little piece of cardboard onto all of that. I've got a skewer and I'm cutting it at a distance of 8.5 centimetres. I'm just using one of these little pinches. It works quite well. So there's my little stick at 8.5 centimetres and now gluing a little piece of cardboard on it and there's our beveled base for the lantern to sit on. Next thing you want to do is in the centre of this one is to poke a hole put your glue in and put your little stick in So I'd like to wait until it's a little bit cooler and then just take it and wind it around the pole so it holds it a bit better in place. Try and make sure that you're straight so it's standing upright. So there's the base for our little lantern to go on. But we're not going to be putting that on right now because that actually gets put on when you're actually putting your lights in. So that's the very last thing that we're going to do. On a spare piece of polystyrene, two and a half centimetres by two and a half centimetres and one and a half centimetres by one and a half centimetres. We're just going to cut those out. And now we've got our little square. Cutting out the next one. So we've got our two squares cut out. And now all we're going to do is we're going to round them off so that they make them into cylindrical shapes. 
So I'm just using 240 grit sandpaper. Using a sharp exacto knife or a craft knife or scalpel to cut them in three. I'm not actually measuring in them, I'm just eyeballing them. And for the bigger one, I'm going to just use a sharp knife. So that gives us three. And you're going to place one piece on top of the others. Now you can have a look and see if you're happy with the size, that's fine. If you want to take them down a little bit more, you can. Now we're going to glue the little pieces together using tweezers. Try and put the glue just on the outside because you're going to poke the stick through the centre. Once you've got it in place. Right now we're going to do the same thing by poking a hole in the centre of this one. Make sure it's straight, upright, before you glue it. So there's the lamp post, which I'm now going to paint black. So the funny thing is the black paint that I'm using is actually called a lamp black. So there's the little lamp post and the little lamp. I've just put a piece of tissue paper in there and come and glued it to the newspaper so it can stand upright to dry. Now because this is only a Christmas decoration and it doesn't stay up permanently, that's why I'm threading the lights through the top. I'm not really worried about the copper wiring going all the way around the village. However, if you were going to be doing this for a train set or a diorama, you might want to look at my other video where it shows you how to make the other lamp where you don't see the copper wires. So now that the paint is dry, it's time to attach the lights. So when you have a look at the little tabs on the top here, try and make sure that you've got them as flat as you can so when you glue them they're, they're not bulging up. So flatten the little tabs quite well on the top. So I've flattened them so you can't really see them now. And then we're just going to pull them out just a wee bit so that they lie perfectly flat. Today, and then we're going to glue on these little tabs here. I'm using these tiny little fairy lights. And I've got a 10 metre strand here. So what I do is, on each of the little lights, I attach one of my little lanterns so because the lights are very very close you have to quite make quite a few so there's one light and there's another light there you can however leave the one in the middle if you don't want to have so many and then just go for a third one so when you have a look at your little light you'll notice that the little tabs go there and there so what you want to do is when you put in the fairy light on, you want to go between those tabs so that when it's glued down, the fairy light is still in the middle, but it's not being glued. Once again, using some hot glue, just put it onto the tabs. It's your little lamp post on. So now, the little light is inside your lantern. So that's your little street lamp. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.